Hey everyone, welcome back to The Binding of Lordran. Let's go ahead and kick off our journey. Man, it's been quite a while. It's been quite a while since I've played The Binding of Lordran. There's no particular reason. Well, there is a reason actually. Uh, I'm busy with Jamuri on Instagram, which... Oh, fucking kidding me? <laughs> Sad cat noises. That was the, I think that was the perfect in like you couldn't ask for a better intro um to this episode. So yeah, I'm I'm slightly busy with Jam Yuri. What? Oh fuck. Um but more than that honestly the level of betrayal experienced in the previous Binding of Lordran episode really shook me to my core and felt like we needed a break from this relationship. Oh, come on, seriously? Does that even do anything? That's my question. I don't know. So, we are going for more of a dex build here, as you can probably tell. Uh, so far I've been strength focused, but of course the advantage of the Binding of Isaac style gameplay is that it's flexible. Like, if I want to go for a dex build, I can go for a dex build. What the hell is that? There's no fucking... Okay. Oh, it's the corpse of the... It honestly looked like, you know, the... <laughs> super dramatic death. How the... What is it called? The summon sign for the Gravelord Covenant looks... Okay. This is absolutely ridiculous. What's happening right here. Um... I just want to see if it drops a fucking item, but he's not gonna. Nah, he's not gonna. So yeah, uh, Jamuary on Instagram is going well. It's fun. I'm enjoying doing it. You guys seem to be liking it as well. Which... Which is always good. Uh, I'll post some of these to YouTube as well. Once I'm get, I'm gonna get done with it. Like, I'm gonna develop some of those into like full proper tracks and I I like to post those there I mean here there as well but here as well but we don't have oh shit we don't have time to talk about that what we have time for is to get through Sense Fortress so yeah the last episode felt bad um, the amount of bullshit deaths I experienced in one. Oh, that was cut. That's cutting it a little bit too close. Uh, but yeah, the amount of bullshit deaths was a little bit much. Just a tiny, tiny bit. So yeah, hopefully we can avoid those and we can make some progress. I don't know what actually you need to do. Oh, seriously? Sorry, gotta turn the volume down a bit, uh, just a little bit, because this is like fucking my ears here. So yeah, um, y again, I just want to kind of see what happens, because we picked up the Lord Vessel, which I am assuming is a milestone. So... You know. Let's see if we get new, like new bosses or something. Because it did say something after getting the Lord Vessel that we have to pick up the, uh, the souls of the four lords. Which, of course, the question is, do we just go through the game normally and they spawn? Like at the end of each run? Or do we have to just like find them in the wild and hope for the best? Because if that's the case, this is going to be pretty tough yeah haven't done parrying actually 
like almost at all since the beginning what the f oh okay you got your ass killed so I have not done much parrying but these guys are easy enough to parry anyway so it doesn't really matter oh, fuck I feel like I've gotten Sans Fortress a lot in terms of like kind of areas. I guess technically there's gonna be a recycled area here and there for every every playthrough. It's basically the same thing with Binding of Isaac. What the? Oh, okay. Shit is just killing itself. Like half the enemies in this area have collectively like committed suicide. Some Jim Jones shit, like seriously. Very, very interesting. I'm gonna be more interested in the boss. And whether we get an abyss spawn, that's the. That's the big hoo ha. What are we? Okay, this is a. This is really bad. It wasn't that bad. Yeah, the parrying. I think he's a uh, fast slow. No, he's not. But parry god. Oh shit! Seriously. I liked it better on the first time I went through Sans Fortress where this guy didn't spawn. That was a lot. A lot, lot better, believe me. Way, way better. Please drop a weapon. Okay. Yeah. Listen, again. If we're gonna have a crazy... mixed-up run... I'm gonna make a crazy mixed-up character. Fashion Souls... We gotta do the exact opposite of Fashion Souls in this playthrough. I think that... How, where where the fuck did he come from? Yeah, you gotta be anti-fashion in this playthrough. It's your sworn duty. Okay, this is down here. I'm gonna be absolutely worthless. Pretty much. That looks perfect. Like, this is exactly the type of set I'm looking for. This is really bad. Because this fucker... Uh, yeah, thank you. Something is shooting at me. What? Huh? A am I stoned? Did you see that hitbox? God, this is chaotic. Ooh. Where do these enemies keep coming from? Are you kidding me? Shit is just like straight up appearing out of nowhere. That thing is way too loud. I'm sorry, but... Holy shit. You know what? Eat shit. I'm gonna need to find a way to, not a way, but a place to set my bong fire. Oh shit. That doesn't friendly fire, does it? It doesn't look like it does. What is this? Okay, I gotta be like real careful. You know what? Fuck all of you. I'm putting my bonfire down here. Eat shit. I thought so. That would reset the area. Man, stressful. It's kind of stressful. Especially since this fucker is going to be hounding me if I keep using the bonfire. There we go. 
Please tell me it's dead. Yep. Okay, so this is what I want to do. I want to buy a couple of moats. I can only buy two. But this is, I realize that this is something I've not been doing. Uh, buying moats in the first area, but it's really something that should be okay. I have no idea why that appeared there. Just a glitch. Um, because I really should be buying moats in the first area as well, because you can only buy a certain number per area, so you might as well, like, maximize your efficiency or whatever. Anyways, nothing here. I'm gonna go ahead and... <laughs> this set. This set is excellent, like... Just excellent. No other way to put it. What is this though? Is this is the painting guardian thing, right? Not really worn that armor set because you got to farm for it, and it's slightly annoying. That's where you came from. It's kind of crazy. He's still the aggro range. Holy shit! And he's still aggroed. Alright, I'm gonna go in here. If he follows me here, I'm gonna kill him. I think he fell off. I wonder if the knife uh, flies slowly as well. Didn't exactly see what happened. Oh, come on. God, this mod has an obsession with this enemy. This enemy is mad annoying to fight too. That's the issue. Like even in the larger corridors of like An Orlando. You cram him into this place and it kinda becomes a nightmare. I wonder if there is There is. Yeah, I'm just gonna Seriously no. Lightning Ember? Hey, hey! Oh, fuck. That genuinely surprised me. And I'm genuinely about to die. Where, where are these people coming from? Not people, enemies. There's a snake down there now. This shit is kind of crazy. This is the craziest level so far. I gotta go up and kill the fucker, don't I? Yeah, I do. I should have put my bonfire here. I could have waited a little bit longer. I got scared, honestly. And so yeah, if he spawns, we gotta go up and take care of him because what the what is going? Seriously, what is going on? This mod is stoned. Please tell me this weapon you causes bleed, and I can bleed him. Wow! I never even heard he he like literally does heavy breathing when he's lying down guy you have a fuck ton of HP he's like harder than the boss this guy I'm gonna really try like maximizing this shit and he still has a fuck ton left I don't know if this guy's like meant to spawn or not. Because I swear he didn't the first time I came through this area. I mean, listen, I'm not gonna like doubt anything.
Okay, this should be... This should be good. Thank fuck for that. And we got an enchanted ember as well. That was a little bit agonizing. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. What the boy's gonna do is... He's gonna go back. And... He is gonna lightning ember his weapon. Just because I have not had a lightning ember uh, weapon so far. And I feel like it does okay against early game enemies. Or it should. I mean, I think it does. That shit is just... Shit just cannot keep itself alive in this area. Listen, I get it, man. This game's AI uh, fucking ledges. They don't go together, do they? Yeah, come on over here. <sighs> come on over here. Thank you. What a trick, right? I'm a mastermind. Oh, I forgot about you. Thank fuck for my lightning weapon. This better be some... Oh, shit. The moats. I can go back after the boss. Oh, hello. Entrampined. Entrampined. What the hell is that attack? Whatever. This ain't gonna be... This ain't gonna be much. Listen, for the first boss, you better be a weak ass, too. Like... The people demand it. Easy. Easy money. Okay, still fast rolling. So yeah, we gotta do a little bit of min-maxing. I just realized this like right now about these modes. How it's like probably smart to buy some right here. Uh, I'm gonna go for Dex. I'm gonna be a Dex build. I mean, I guess here it doesn't matter. But still. I think this is more efficient, right? Yeah, it is. Gotta do the quick maths. And that meme is ancient at this point. The quick maths thing. Feels like that was like 10 years ago, but it wasn't. It's probably because 2020 felt like it was 8 years at least. Uh, so, you know, the timeline the timeline is fucked up, you know. Get the time splitters in here. See, now I know you were going to be here. What the fuck? Did I just do an offline PvE lag stab? I think I pretty much did. Hey, I'll take it. I'll take a lag stab any single day. Maybe I'm gonna be fucking around with that. Cool. Let's get the hell out of here. And we go to... We go to... The depths. Have we had the depths before? What a spawn. God, this is... This is kind of ridiculous. This is a ridiculous spawn. Especially since I have a lightning weapon. It's not going to do jack shit against this thing.
Okay, we're gonna be here for a while. He stuns very easily, interestingly. I never knew. Like, do the normal versions in vanilla stun this easily as well? I'll just die. Thank you. It's absolutely not worth 550 souls. We're playing for money here. Like, it's not. I need everything I can get. This is an interesting enemy placement, although what we have right here is way easier than the actual enemy placement in this area because of torch hollows. Sometimes these areas do get easier though. Okay, I'm trying to like, can we get away? Oh fuck, these guys can heal, can't they? I'm trying to get away from the chest because if I hit it, I'm gonna lose the whatever in it. Probably nothing significant, but it's actually, at that one time I actually was careful. It was significant because humanity is pretty good in this game. If you didn't, if you didn't know this little factoid, Humanity is fairly useful. I'm gonna try putting my bonfire in the actual place. Hey, hey. So actually, this has way worse defense. It's lighter though, so if we get overburdened by some crazy piece of equipment, I can go with it. Of course, no annoying ass ambushes either. Sometimes the remixed areas really are a treasure. just have a quick look we found that the fire bombs especially black fire bombs are actually fairly useful so I'll try to keep that in mind it's locked interesting that is interesting oh fuck. there's a little bit too close giant key please tell me that If there is justice in the world, that's gonna unlock. It's gonna unlock the door. Although... This is a... It's a great sword. But this is the one with the... Oh, it's the... Spear move set. Never mind. Doesn't work. Okay, so what I was trying to say is we can still take the shortcut, I'm assuming. That shortcut is... That shortcut always has your back. That's all I know about it. So let's just slightly backtrack. Unless they were smart and locked it off, but I don't think they did. Or if this led to like some super difficult boss. That would actually be fairly funny. You trying to cheat, bitch? Here you go. Five Ornsteins. Then this might be worse than five Ornsteins. 
I have one blooming. One blooming on. Okay, that's not a toxic dart guy. I was worried. A lot of these dudes have similar methods of attacking. Getting so many things. Uh, no. It's heavy. I'll consider it. Nice. Yeah, this is heavy as well. Shit, have I used my moats? I don't think I have. I'm stupid. Not the first time I've done this. Not use my motes. Cool. Okay, I think I'm going to be smart here. And by smart, I mean I'm going to put my bonfire here. Kendo this bitch up. Should be able to like breeze through this area. A store night Artorias. Fully agreed. Okay, let's see just quickly. Don't want to take any risks. Uh, vitality, endurance, dex. It's gonna gonna continue the trend here. It's gonna be interesting if we will actually get any dex weapons. Cause so far, um, all all that seems to be dropping is strength. But we'll see. A dust, I'll get like a dust dune moon spear or whatever that thing is that I've had dropped like 50 fucking times. Oh shit, seriously you two? I thought, okay. You know why I'm worried when I see projectiles flying at me. There's a lot of projectiles flying at me. But don't kindle the... See... It might be just me. I'm getting like bad seeds or something. But... From what I've noticed, like this game has gotten like genuinely more difficult as we went along. Like... The enemy placement, the everything. I can go. I could go. But I'm not gonna go until we check out the boss. I ain't a bitch. And I want the souls. Plus it genuinely could be that you just need to find the four lords out in the wild. And then if I skip a boss, this could screw over my plans. I swear the abyss used to be here somewhere, right? I don't know what the requirements are for getting the abyss, but whatever. It got like that. The jump in difficulty there was Dark Lobos. Oh yeah, this is the reference to Lobos, right? He has a lot of HP. Fuck. Fuck, 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 actually. I mean, it's not difficult, but...
but still we're gonna be here for ages seems to have slight troubles hitting me I like how we still got the gaping dragon theme is actually kind of badass for a slightly underwhelming boss God, this is painful. And he's gonna kill me too. Well, this ain't gonna be the most interesting end to this episode, let me tell you that. Fuck, I've not dealt much damage to him. Could be just, just crazy lightning defense. This went down like a bitch the last time I fought it. God, the limping mode is gonna be awful. So I'm gonna have to stare at it for a long time and I'm gonna feel really bad. Are we at the halfway point? We're not even, right? Shit, yeah. This point dying would be ill advised, because it's gonna undo all my hard work. Just enjoy the gaping dragon theme. Because believe me, providing interesting commentary to a drawn out stiff fight is not the easiest thing in the world. The gaping dragon theme, on the other hand, is absolutely badass. Again, for a slightly underwhelming boss. I think the idea behind the gaping dragon was good, but... It's difficult to do big bosses in Souls, I think. Especially early on. Like, they were... Really early on. Because... Demon Souls, well, Demon Souls had a few, but you know, Ancient Dragon and all that, they were like gimmick fights. Alright, we're nearing the end of a painful existence. The reward better be fucking godlike here. Because this is... The game is making me suffer. Okay, it doesn't go into limb mode. That's good. I'm happy about that. Less emotional torture, you know. You're not gonna torture me with the difficulty. Torture me emotionally, but it, it's not gonna do it. Thank you. That was super painful, and that's a super dramatic death. <laughs> All right, this is no. Fucking hell! Still dying. Okay, just get it over with. Guark iron. Is that it? Is that it? Seriously? A crown? Now that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. 
for this crown it was all worth it fully worth it okay here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a quick a quick return to the bonfire apparently it does something I do that's the serpent ring symbol the covetous uh, vitality endurance I know I'm like really getting creative on this build right but that's the issue you know vitality and endurance are really fucking useful okay so what I'm gonna do is we will head towards the exit Adios. Interesting. Dark Root Basin. We've not had Dark Root Basin, I think. This could be really good. Or it could be. Okay, the elevator doesn't work. Or it could be really bad. I don't know. But the judgment is going to have to be made on the next episode of The Binding of Lordrum because I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching. As always, I have one ask. Actually, it's like three or four asks. Make sure to like the video if you enjoyed. Comment, subscribe if you're new here. Le really appreciate you guys. As always, turn on post notifications. And finally, follow my Instagram if you want to see more music from me. Mr. Underscore Sketchhead. That's all the self-promotion for today, I think. Yeah, end of self-promotion. I'll end it here. Thanks for watching and peace out. Goodbye.